what's up guys this is the broken woman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as the polish empire we did the last episode uh, we have very much established our foothold um on the north american mainland we've captured quebec and montreal which is pretty awesome we've defeated the dutch down in the uh, south and we are recruiting more troops to help our support help our case and we also have um, the Swedes have declared war on us, so we may end up growing this army here, landing them off of the coast of Finland, and then destroying the last of the Swedish Empire. Um, but before we can do any of that, we have no money, so let's hit and turn and crank this on the way. So we're still bolstering our garrisons, again through the gaps in the Carpathian Mountains. Uh, you know what, Britain? Sure. We're very friendly. We are allies. You are also enemies again. Oh, nuts. Okay, so... The Saxony faction have lost their, <laughs> lost their one overseas colony. We will put them back under siege. Um, if we need to, we'll take it. Otherwise, we will try and buy time. Uh, I'm just going to auto that. See you later, Dutchman. Um... But yeah, we are going to probably just, yeah, just siege them. Wait for our second army to march up. And that can lay siege to Amsterdam. And then, yeah, the, the idea being if we can lay siege to that territory which the Saxons previously had, uh, we would, well, Saxony had. I did, I'd like them to have it back. Oh, the, Marathas, the Mughal, sorry, have just lost. Uh, Calcutta, so that's no trade for them. No trade for us either. Morocco's fleet is raiding. No alliance for you, Mughal Empire. Sorry, your days are done. You have no port. Your fleet will perpetually be at risk. Sweden and Venice, rather, are gathering their armies, sailing to Morocco as well, I guess. Yeah, they went for they got it. Georgia is on the march. Well, on, on the sail, I suppose, with their fleet. But none of, none of this is changing our tactical position. Yeah, you know, Saxony is regrouping. Yeah, nothing here is fundamentally impacting our decision-making. We're going to continue doing what we're doing. Expand our, expand our holdings in America. Knock out the Swedes. Um, just get my garrison at Cayenne just to mop up the last of these rambunctious Dutchmen. So these guys replenish. Okay. Before we do this, let's get to um, Iceland. Upgrade the commercial port. Build a sloop. Upgrade the dockyard. So we have a full army here at Reykjavik. Let's just assume you can leave. Yes, you can. Awesome. You may... Provisionally, sail for India and secure Ceylon, because that will prevent the Dutch from generating any frustrating armies to try and attack us. In both of our shipyards here, we will just recruit basic sloops to garrison the or to occupy the ports. Upgrade the roads here. Rumelia, upgrade the Iron Master's works. So we've got lots of farms that can be upgraded. We're not worried about Greece for now. Especially when Venice are moving all their troops out of the territory, we don't really mind. So we have another army that's growing. Okay, engineers garrisoning the fort. Kamluk cavalry pushing up to this army. So you're waiting on one cavalry unit plus a skirmish unit and an infantry unit. So they could probably just do with one bog standard infantry unit, unless we've got. got yeah, yeah, you know what? Maybe we want to go for line infantry guards. Let's go for them. Let's go for more elite units because I think we're not going to necessarily need to have the massive armies, the massive number of armies that we have in other campaigns. So over here in Sweden, actually, let's not upgrade you. These things, rather. 
two howitzers. We've got elite infantry. You could do with some skirmishers. One turn. That's pretty sick. So yeah, they'll land near Sweden. They'll just start fighting the armies as they are. They're probably not going to do anything too sneaky. We've got good visibility. This is their last territory. We don't have to do any assassining. Okay, everything's ready over here. So up in North America. Upgrade the fur trapper. Let's not upgrade the farm. I don't want to give the French bait. So I think I want to just keep growing our garrison just to defend from any un unanticipated threats we could get attacked from uh, the 13 colonies across the sea so let's maybe build a couple of sloops just to try and cover these crossing points for the time being Ukraine, Ukraine, Poland, Leeward Islands Ooh, hello. Let's use this sloop to pick up this super agent. Just deposit them off the coast. They're going to cause a bit of chaos as they march through the British lands, spreading Catholicism as they go. I don't envisage us declaring war on Britain. You're just going to head up towards Quebec. A little bit of Protestantism to get rid of here. More to get rid of in Montreal. Morocco has been destroyed. So this army march for Amsterdam. This army, which is depleted, they can just lay siege to Cologne. We're not overly bothered about capturing it yet. Just lay siege to it. Other than that... Um, we don't have naval architectures. So that does limit our... Ability to build bigger fleets, but let's just drop another fourth rate ship of the line into the queue. Just to slowly grow the fleet. And also let's be a bit provocative. Hey, Ottomans. Although I do want this army to lead the charge with the winged hussars. And my agent's going to try assassinate that general. 31%, let's see what happens. Nope. Okay, so because we're going to be capturing this territory, we're not going to want to raid. We can continue to raid these lands. So they've still got a fleet in Limassol. Army in Alexandria. Chance secret ideas. Lots of good stuff. Um, but yes, now we're going to march onto Ankara. With both our armies, we're going to need to spend a bit of time pacifying this territory before we push on elsewhere. I mean, you could, if you want to be super aggressive, you could do an amphibious landing for sure and land because there's nobody in Gaza. So you could march in, capture Jerusalem super easy, and then just start churning out troops. So if you were kind of min, not min maxing, but just being as aggressive as possible, that's a really good route. I'm not quite so bothered. Okay, everything's good. We've only got 100 left. No tech to immediately worry about. My agent's made his way into the university. Hmm, will the French attempt to solidify their hold on the west? Or on, on their eastern flank, sorry. Then again, they'll have lost two, roughly, two full strength armies. I mean, they're originally two full strength armies. Yeah, don't trust you, Austria. Yeah, they're going to push us back out of the ports, which is fine. Are they falling back to... They are. They're falling back to the capital. Interesting. It's probably still a good outcome for us. We don't necessarily... Yeah, we really don't care about the stealing of technology. The rest of the world has probably caught up to our technology by now. Well, for the most part. But we've exploited our technological advantage early on. So there's... You really don't have to worry about it. You can. You know, trying to defend your tech advantage. 
but I think you, know, you just spend too much time doing it, in my opinion. You may as well just take your advantage, exploit it as much as you can, and then surrender the surrender the advantage you have once the time comes. Kipavo. Let's get another round of growth in. Let's send two units down to Montreal. Okay, keep upgrading. So Quebec's got cobbled roads. Prepare to get metal roads. Upgrade your port. Upgrade your mine. Upgrade your farm. Mayassi's gained fortifications. That's super. Okay, lots of these were in New France. We can upgrade the Weaver's Cottage in Poznan. This force here. Not shoot. Three spots left. So that's you, you, and this unit of Kamloops, I suppose. Ooh, no, you're short one other unit. Okay, let's start moving you east, though, because this army is going to march. It's going to be committed into the Middle East. So we are already recruiting a... Oh, no, we aren't. Right. To your Marshal of Europe. Caban Cavalry... There's a limit to the wing to sales I can recruit, so I don't really mind. Although I do want to keep recruiting all of the, more of the unit, well, all of the units I can possibly recruit, really. Something like that. Good. Konigsberg recruit. One unit of infantry. Super. Okay. You're going to march down towards the French here in Niagara. We will probably trigger a war with the Iroquois at some, in some instance. Ultimately, this is why we do need to reinforce Montreal, because they could just cross up here and do this. Okay, Sweden's up to full strength. I think we might do this. The phrase is, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. In which case... Hello, is there any generals here? Doesn't look like it. What about inside the city? Yes, Carl Gustav Renskjold. 21%, let's give it a go. Got him. You have no commander. Okay, so you're ready to push. You're replenishing. Okay, everything's good. We need to hop back to Europe. Because you're still sieging. You're at full strength, though. You can now put Amsterdam under siege. I suspect we will probably get attacked by this army and fight a full-on defensive engagement, which is fine by me. Let's hit end turn. No, I'm not going to give you utilitarianism, Britain. No. No, philosophical technologies are super good. I'm not bothered about letting you have them. Here come the French. Are they going to blockade one of our ports? Yep, they've come in. The swines. Yeah, you are just they are gagging to attack us and give us for us to give them an excuse. Ooh, the garrison at Amsterdam is marching out. Awesome. It does mean that Mr. Blikars is unlikely to get to use his winged hussars in the way we'd want to use them. In a gallant, epic cavalry charge. Instead, we are probably gonna have to resort to holding them back, let the artillery and infantry do the work. But yeah, they have I mean, it's a smart calculation by the AI because every subsequent turn they become more depleted, so the chance of their relative strength just continuously goes down. So the AI should really try and sally out every time you attack them, unless they've got like armies moving up that they can use to bring to bear against you. In which case, letting you siege them, or letting them siege the, letting the player siege the AI, 
is okay. But yeah, in the grand scheme, it's a reasonable thing for the AI to do. Okay, we have a bit of high ground. We're going to deploy back. We don't want the enemy artillery to kill us, or the enemy mortars to kill us. Don't worry, we will get a look at the hussars in a moment. I just want to deploy my infantry first. Always, if I get one unit, that's roughly fine. Grenadiers hold behind the guns. Irregulars hide in the trees. Light infantry deploy stakes behind in front of the, the uh, guns. Well, I have forgotten one gun. Let's maybe deploy you here. Something like that. Okay, there we go. Heavy horse artillery is going to be on this slight bit of high ground at the back doing not necessarily counter battery but just shoot at whatever they fancy. I think we've seen a Trabant cavalry. We have indeed. With their pistols that are almost useless. And the winged hussars. That is glorious. I love the winged hussars in this game. You almost never see them unless you're playing the Polish Empire because the AI traditionally dies as Poland quite early on. General take position under the trees. Sars. The wing Sars. Don't you know they can both stay they can all stay where they are for now. Shooting at anything. Shoot at that garrison line infantry unit. My howitzers are opening up. Okay, you guys should abandon your guns. Marine Marineko, Wildback Infantry. Ooh, howitzers pick at the horse grenadier guards. They, the shrapnel will detonate in the trees, so we don't necessarily want to push across that open ground. Light infantry, do this. Winged Tsars, advance. Winged Tsars, charge forward. Enemy regiment of horses here. Charge of the winged Tsars. Hey, Hussars. Fix that regiment of horse. Both my units of artillery blast that horse grenade guard unit. We're going to lose some men to the all of my guns. Folks on the horse grenade go. Hey, they dismounted. Oh no, I missed my charge! <laughs> Nuts. Either way, they're in. Don't worry, they will charge the Dragoons. They still haven't lost a man yet. Oh, they finally lost their first cavalryman. Charge the horse, guard, the horse grenade, the horse guard grenadier people. Get all of my artillery that's currently aiming at them cease fire. Charging through the trees. Lance is dipped. Jab, jab. Well, oh, they're wavering. Okay, right. My gunners. Okay. 
Elwood side. Quick line, garrison line. Gun team. Canister shot the Scots. New men round shot the Swiss line. Recall the heavy cavalry. Excellent work, men. They're shattered. Missiles are in position. Open the garrison line. They don't even have fire by rank yet. The fools! The idiotic AI. How can they possibly hope to maintain success in this engagement? Excellent. Uh, that's uh, oh, my horse guard artillery. Open fire. Okay. One gun firing. Just skimming my own formations. Get a Trabant cavalry on the flank. Okay, how it says. Just pick a unit of infantry. Gunners. Switch to canister shot. Blast them. Let's fold the flank in, including my irregulars. Me and my Drab Drabant, Drabant cavalry to chase down the enemy routing here. They form a loose line. But they are marching into a slaughter. Okay, let's fold the left flank in. Actually, my, my um, heavy artillery engaged the enemy wall. Okay, they're wavering. If we can break that unit on the flank, nah. it's going to take a little bit longer. Push forward. Pushing us. Make sure my engineers are far and well armed. Engineers aren't the best at shooting, they're not bad. But they're better than militia, it's for darn sure. Go on, guys, blast them, they're right in front of you. Foot guards are taking a bit of a hammering. That's what. That's just what heroes do. Broken. Yeah, I bet they've written the first foot guards have advanced up to point blank range. Range of hit the militia. Line of SARS. Run in. Rotate my light infantry so they, got, uh, they don't have a target in this melee fight. Wing missiles are in. It's lots of them. They've gained their first experience chevron. Deal. The enemy are actually bringing. They're actually uh, marching out towards us. A combined cavalry offensive against the unit of militia. Human ceasefire. Retarget against the core of infantry here. Trabant cavalry might get clipped. Yeah, partially, kind of, not massively. 
for ceasefire artillery right now because it's not doing it's not needed to do almost anything I want to do Charge. Sars, charge. Grapont, cavalry, get over here as well. New men open fire onto the. Oh, it's the Mort Garrison unit. They're the ones who are sticking around. Yeah, but the enemy artillery elected. Well, they had to come out of the fort. That's no bueno. Oh, general. No, my general doesn't need any. Any extra experience? He just commanded the successful defense of the sally of the siege of uh, Amsterdam. Kill the gunners. That's enough. We're not in a rush to take. Ah. Oh. Gunners. Destroy that section of wall. No, these gunners these guns need to switch to round shots. Hey, actually. Wing to Sards, get wing to Sars go for the militia unit. Artillery, smash the fort. Hey, they came out. Go get them. Artillery, all of you. Just stop firing. Kill them, Hussars. Kill them. Kill them all. Militia killing a few of our guys. Not enough. Although, a few of that, a few losses might be due to friendly fire. Two experienced chevrons for my heavy cavalry. Now it's just this last regiment of horse, but we're going to speed this up because I mean, they very should die pretty nicely. Let's bring my heavy cavalry in because they will get the charge off. There we go. We don't need to worry about chasing them down. They're locked in the city. They're not going anywhere. Awesome. They are down to 700 men remaining. So again, if you wanted to kind of maximize your efficiency, um, you would probably want to wait until I capture Amsterdam before attacking Ceylon, because it's Ceylon. The um, Dutch, any Dutch forces will be replaced by pirate forces, which are going to be considerably worse. But I must admit, I am not anticipating a huge presence of enemy troops uh finland they have walked within us within range of our of our uh, armies off the coast do we want to intercept hell yes we do this will destroy the core of swedish fighting power then we're going to march on finland quite nicely and then probably fortify near the russian frontier You don't really want to worry about fighting Russia. If the if the need arises, we will, but we don't want to. Okay, so we're going to fight on the defense. Okay, one set of guns up. Mm, it's a bit. The ground's a bit weird. This is this is probably better. Probably gonna want to kind of angle off to the right here a bit. And then, hmm, not, I not ideal. So this gun team.
We may actually position here. Instead, we may... create a bit of a monster line. Where's my... Oh, there you are. Okay, you're going to go on the right-hand flank of these guns. Cavalry set up. Lancers are set up on the left. Poetzers. Unlimber. Pop off carcass shot when you're ready. Line up infantry guards, form your position. Light infantry, advance. My gunners are going to obl are obliterating their gun team. Howitzers try and focus on something that isn't their gunners. My lancers are going to stay in the trees. Yeah, my gunners can just focus on engaging the enemy artillery. Dur oh, I thought a direct hit on the gun. Okay. Oh, it's just start trying to knock some hole in the enemy infantry formations. Enemy generals advancing up to point blank range, although we're getting some janky sound. Form square. We don't need to worry about sending our cavalry in to fight this. Excellent, our artillery has dealt with the enemy gun threat, well, the enemy here, yeah, artillery threat. They're still advancing in numbers. Heavy cavalry units coming our way. We're going to secure... Temporarily secure the higher ground. point blank range this 12 pounder unit provincial cavalry has been dealt with engage them with canister shot looks like they are going to give up the left flank get my light infantry up here onto this higher ground Push my cavalry forward just a little bit. Try and engage the regiment of horse. Pikemen, militia. Heavy cavalry have been broken, that's quite nice. Pikemen are advancing, see if they can make short work of my cavalry on the right, but I don't think it's going to have much of an effect. Skirmish is going to start picking off the pikemen again. Okay, oh, I'm going to get a good hit on the pikemen, nearly. There we go, start picking off the horse guard. Shaking. shaken. This infantry unit's going to open up on them now soon. Enemy concentrating their firepower on our left. Not a terrible idea, but we will withdraw back to our previous positions.
chase down the pikemen, make sure we shatter them. The heavy cavalry are shattered. We have taken the right flank. So let's advance forward. A few enemy units here we can probably try and wipe out. They're shattered. Enemy cavalry is committing against us, so let's not go. Let's not go crazy. Twelve pounder to the rear. Engage that regiment of horse. Nice. Advance forward with my lights. So you're in a bit of an awkward position now, Sweden, aren't you? You're in my kessel. This regiment of horses looking to start trouble. Are they going to suck up a bunch of my skirmish fire first? Sharpshooters devastated them. Commit my cavalry against these weaker infantry blocks. Who are you? Regiment of foot still looking to cause problems. So the mercenaries have been charged down. This regiment of foot are in a very dodgy spot. You know, keep killing these mercenaries. We're not going to try to kill them, just knock out the enemy units. They're still running around from side to side. For the most part, the enemy are just streaming back. Guns, there's a demi cannon unit. Okay, you're shooting at the infantry in the center, that's great. This regiment of foot is good, but not enough to hold off my cavalry. Well, it looks like they're doing a reasonable job of holding off my cavalry. Pikemen have born square. Lancers charge the militia. They're going to pump a volley into us. Okay, now you might kill them. Infantry push forward, skirmishes push forward. Unhide my units. Kill that regiment of foot. You've annihilated this militia unit. Push on into the enemy infantry here. The line infantry first. Go on, six Lancer guards. Keep packing away the dragoons. My dragoon unit go after that regiment of foot. Artillery engage that regiment of foot there. Foot artillery keep engaging the gunners. Charge forward. Take the field. Don't give them an inch. Ok, 
kill the last of those guerrilla mercenaries. Looks like the enemy is going to rapidly break. Get my general over here. Push forward. Kill that last guerrilla. Kill the militia. Here's some enemy weakened units that are still running around the field. Push forward at speed, maintain the advance, although very much mopping up at this point. Okay, kill this regiment of foot, then these infantry, these, these cavalry units are going to peel away into the centre to pursue the routing units. Charge on. Push forward, kill them all, pillory, cease fire. Get into the fight. Come on, you men are so keen to charge into people. Have your opportunity. Skirmish is pouring fire into the 16th regiment, which is quite Nice. Charge forward into the fourth. Charge. Charge. Sixteenth regiment of foot. Officer versus. Oh, he's about to draw his pistol, but he put it away. Kill the commander. Oh, is he going to get away? He's not found anyone he wants to fight. Oh, we got him. Nice. Going to continue just because it should not take too long. Pull all my infantry back. It's oh, a cavalry unit. Oh, he escaped, sadly. Not necessarily worry about killing everybody. Kill, kill enough. That's all we need. Just kill enough. Most of these units will probably die anyway. Or when in, on the campaign map, that is. Except for you, you might die right now. Keep right clicking. Hopefully, he stops to fight. There we got him. Nice, so that's the, yeah, that is the core of Swedish power, just gone. They have, how many men remaining? 1,100 men remaining of that original force. Yep, they're pretty doomed. They might go for some, uh, uh for five grand for socket bayonet explosive shells. Yes. Conquer the Mughals, although that does ultimately translate to them generating um, fleets to come and kill us. That's kind of what the Marathas do. Not a huge problem, problem in of itself. Yes, yeah, Saxony. Come and help us near... Uh, not Strasbourg? Cologne. That's it. Come help us near Cologne. We do not mind if you take the territory. We have just built rockets or research rockets. Not on you. And this is some of the fun stuff. Do like rockets. Upper Canada. Congratulations. Have a 
church school because we've got two more towns developing in this region anyway. Let's upgrade the farm to speed it up a bit. Okay, new port emerges. Varna in Bulgaria. Let's recruit a, slew, a ship to already garrison it. Port blockaded Brandenburg. Yeah, that has actually impacted our finances. We can't afford to upgrade too many of our farms. So let's just go for two right now. Our fleet. I mean, I'm not even going to buy that. We're not necessarily bothered about taking their ships into our service. One of my um, sloops looks like they got taken out. Or my light galleys. One or the other. Lead away to the glorious victory. Retire to Malmo. For, for repairs and recruit a reinforcing ship. Okay, I'll grow this farm because it's cheap. Okay, and mostly just lots of farm upgrades. Go for happiness buildings. We don't necessarily need the research bonuses. I mean, if we get a gentleman over here, they're kind of useless anyway. So you're in position, ready to attack. Yeah, you've you have been sat back a bit too long. Well, these guys have. I didn't move them on when I, as fast as I should have done. Ah, my agent was executed. I suppose he was potentially a bit conspicuous. So this force put Anchor under siege. To be honest, you might even take the city. Two, okay, three Armenian archers. Is that you? No, it's not. It's, it is someone else. Okay, let's attack this force in the open field. Baltachi, 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 Nemet. Nemet, rather. Not Nemet, where the hell did I get the N from? Yep, let's attack this Ottoman force in the field, because that's all to do with pushing them east. Then we can move on the capital. We don't necessarily have the money to fix everything right off the bat. We'll have to focus on replenishing our troops. But I want to smash this army, send it east, and then my my force can march up to support the attack on the capital. The gunners are gonna are gonna advance up to the high ground. What are they? Bell pounders. Yes, I think they are. I think they are still all going to push. Yeah. It's not a terrible field of fire. There isn't really a better one. I think my my heavy horse artillery can probably stay over here. Get most of the enemy deployment zone within range. But we are going artillery heavy. Let's get storming forward. Grenades and light infantry bundle up together. Hey, this is an incredibly similar army to what I already had. Okay, General's bodyguard on the left. Uh, Wing Dussars on the left. Terry is focusing on those nine pounders. The initial volley has managed to shatter a unit, which is great. Kind of want to focus on the enemy camels. Oh, it says engage the enemy infantry. Riskers of souls, they're pretty sick. I do like the riskers of souls. My line's going to stay coherent though, because the camel nomads are charging. Trabant cavalry go for this unit of camel nomads. Send my camels in, because they are... Send my lancers in, rather, because they are wavering. My Trabant cavalry can get back out. 
Okay, they're shattered. Skirmishes are going to do is push forward. Risks of souls are a bit knackered because they're just walking around in the open. They've got very low defence, so this is a very big mistake. broken. Okay, let's primarily focus on bringing up the right flank. The left, well this part of the right can just stay, stay wide, cavalry push forward. How else is more focus on the enemy to the rear I suppose? Particularly this unit, we should be able to get some good hits on that entrenched unit. There. Oh, no, you don't. Get out of here, Saz. Stay away from these mad lads with swords. Bring them towards the line. up to here. Bring my light infantry through to about here. This isn't great for the, for the winged sars. We're not going to wait. Out, it's fine. You may destroy the nearby guns, artillery, just keep firing at whatever targets you see fit. So, these guys are going to do really good work against my infantry. That's kind of why I have to rely on mobbing them, making sure I do get around the back of their formation. There we go. Attacked in the rear. They didn't like that quite so much. They're losing against my winged yourselves. That's pretty good. There we go. We suffer greater morale penalties. Force you guys to abandon your defensive position. There we go. As soon as you do that, my infantry comes in. The burnt cavalry go for the general's bodyguard. Come on, down to 100 janissaries. Deal with them. Bring my lances forward. Oh, you have Kurdish Hill, man. The Trabant Cavalry will make short work of the General's bodyguard. Everybody except my General. Just run straight into the Armenian archers. There we go. Got the general's bodyguard. Have we got the general? I think he's right there. Nope, it's not him. 
The Lancers have taken a volley in the gut. Have to abandon attacking the enemy general to go after the, the Azar. Go after that janissary unit, you go after that janissary unit. Start trying to wipe these guys out. The Kurdish hillmen are exactly at all. Charge to the back of the Armenian archers. Leaping over the fence, charging to the rear. You met you've let your you've let the colour get stuck in the centre of their line. And there we go. Keep chipping away. When they die, pursue them. Artillery is still kind of shooting. Cease fire. Wait, are they? Are their gunners still on the field? Some free hits against my skirmishes. Oh, they're not all in range. My skirmishes will see them off though. Janissary musketeers. They're a cool new musketeer unit, but they've not got what it takes. Continue just because we have a few units that may come back to try and do damage to us. My general's probably not going to get to these guys in time. The Armenian archers, are, yeah, they're going to definitely escape, but the Armenian archers probably will escape. We've at least got more chance of doing more damage to them. Yeah. Got a few of them, but still this is a, a good step towards capturing more Ottoman territory. So you've been pushed back. Okay, infantry reinforce, get up onto the road. Complete destroyed. Do we? I may eat. Do I take the city? Probably, I think, because the enemy just won't be able to stop us. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Ankara. Cheers, everyone.